Hey toy fans, Aaron here, and I'm back feeling better. Want to thank my daughter for filling in for me last week to keep the show going. And with that said, today we're going to check out the Darth Revan 6-inch Black Series figure. This was the 2015 uh, Hasbro Fan Choice Poll winner. Now I still haven't seen this guy on the shelves. He's trickling out, but I got my pre-order in from Big Bad Toy Store because I really wanted to be sure to get my hands on it. And now that I do, let's go check it out. All right, first up, a quick look in the packaging. He is still in that red and black line. He is number 34 in the lineup. And then on the back side, everything's still pretty normal here. You got the number in the upper right corner and a brief bio about Darth Revan. So now we got him out of the packaging. And I got to say, this is a fantastic looking figure. Lots of detailing in the robe uh, along the headpiece, down through the arms. You got a lot of detail work going on in the chest piece here. Making our way down to the bottom of the figure, his robes at the bottom are very tattered and worn looking. Going in close on the face mask, you can see some nice paint detailing in there. You got some red and gray, and then a little bit of silver like scuff mark weathering on there. Going in on that chest piece here, and along with the arms, got some, it's kind of a bronzish rose gold colored look in there. Here's a look at that belt area. You got these silver hooks that also go all around to the back. And here's a better look at the bottom of his robes and his inside tunic piece. I did initially have some strings falling off uh, once I took it out of the package, but since then everything's been fine, so not too worried there. Think it's gonna hold up well. And then looking down the legs and on top of the shoe, or on top of the boot rather, more of a silver look as opposed to up top here, but looks good there. Lots of fine detailing, very battle-worn on the shin guards here. As far as articulation goes, you do get some movement on the head, a little bit of side to side, a very small amount of up and down. Because of this headpiece here and the shoulders, it's all attached. That's all the movement you're gonna get. As far as the arms, you can get those up just fine. This really doesn't get in the way of that movement. And they do swivel around. At the elbows here, you get a good bend. So a little forward and back. At the wrist, they do swivel, and on the left wrist, you get your side-to-side -side motion. On his right hand, you get the up and down. For the waist movement at the middle of the chest here, you get good rotation around there, and he does crunch down just a little bit. As for the legs, because of this tunic piece, it's a little limited, but they do go up. You just raise that up if, as you need to. As for the knees, they are double-jointed. No problem with that motion. And for the foot, you get your forward and back. Lots of range of motion there. And, of course, the uh, swivel at the ankle here. As far as the accessories, you do get two of them. Uh, the backstory on this guy is that he was a Jedi and became Sith. So you get both of those lightsabers here. First up, his Jedi saber. It is a nice purple. Looking at that hilt of the Jedi blade, you have a red button and a green button painted on there. And a little bit of black lines through there. And for the Sith blade, you got some black lines painted in there along with a little bit of gold at the top. This is a nice red blade. On my screen right now, it's looking a little more purple because of this blue background. Overall, this is a great looking figure and I'm glad to have them added to my collection. So that wraps up my look at the Darth Revan figure. Do you have this in your collection? Let me know your thoughts on the figure in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.